Bart is a divine command theorist, but Bart's notion of the divine command is not that uh, there is this sort of fixed decree from eternity that then finds expression in scripture and it's a an unchanging bit of legislation that doesn't respond at all to the changes in human society and culture and time you know Bart's notion of revelation is a very dynamic notion um, so the divine command is sort of always happening and we're always hearing it in a fresh way uh, so, in fact, in, in some ways of understanding Bart's ethics and Bart's view of divine command, it could be that, you know, in the past, people legitimately thought they were hearing God give them a command for one thing, and in the present, we hear something else, um, because the command itself is dynamic. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about uh, how Bart defines the good in relation to the divine command. Um, how Bart's concept of the command relates to uh, and changes ideas about intuitionism or emotivism. Um, and think about this, and I think it's actually a contested question uh, that I don't think anyone can, really has an answer to. Is Bart a realist or a non-realist? It's actually a very interesting question if you study um, Bart. So we have that piece on divine command. We also have, uh, that I gave you to read for this this past week, um, Aquinas on the natural law. Aquinas is, you know, the um, certainly preeminent source, one of the preeminent sources that we're going to go to historically for natural law kinds of thinking. Um, and there are a whole variety of ways to interpret Aquinas. There are different schools of thought. There are in many ways competing schools of thought. Um, and I want you to think about this. How, what is Aquinas saying about being and metaphysics in relation to the natural law? I think, and I'll, fall, I'll you know reveal some of my cards here, I fall into a school of thought about Aquinas, that Aquinas is first talking about metaphysics, that he's not talking about reason apart from God, um, and that he's not sort of trying to give proofs of God or of natural law apart from already having some theological presuppositions and beliefs about being in God. That's what I think, but you know, what do you think from what you've seen? What he says about being, what does Aquinas say is our natural inclination? What does Aquinas mean by nature? It's an interesting thought, and how does that relate to the category of grace? Does Aquinas think the natural law can change, but how does Aquinas' view of the natural law as something stable relate to the differences in legal commands in particular societies and times. And, and this is very important in reading Aquinas, how does Aquinas define the question? Um, the, the way Aquinas's writing and thinking proceed is in setting forth for us questions and then providing responses and objections to those responses. So you have to kind of think carefully about how is he actually framing the question? How you frame the question is going to very much impact how you frame the response, and, and then how does he frame the objections and the responses to those objections.